Yeah. All right, so what are we putting on your clipboard, my friend? Uh, improved manifestation. Improved manifestation. Okay, so one thing that I want to mention about this, <clears throat> I've been to about eight matrix presentations. I've also been, Matrix Energetics was, was developed by Richard Bartlett and Mark Dunn. They were both ex-chiropractors. They had a separation, and so Mark Dunn's out doing his own thing. I've been to his presentation too, and he's like the yin of Matrix Energetics, and Richard's definitely the yang. And, and you will find this out if you go to his presentation. He's quite a cowboy, and he's really a lot of fun. <laughs> so, um, Mark teaches something completely different, and he hardly ever mentions Richard. But Richard talks about Mark the whole time, you'll feel like you know Mark. So, so, and I'll just throw this out to you, here's another technique you can use for yourself. When you're in a presentation and you feel like you're overwhelmed by, by the presenter or the teacher, it's like none of this stuff's making sense to you, like if you go to his seminars, it's probably likely that that will happen. Well, it happened to me too, and so I'm home like after the second day and it's like, man, I have a clue what they're talking about. All right. Richard, I'm going to connect to you. Can I please have that part of your brain you're trying to transfer to through your words? And Mark, how about you too? And only those parts of your brain, please. Not all that other stuff. I don't need. And I just dropped down. I felt myself shift. And then poof, I just let it go. The next day I went and it started to gel for me. So you can do this anytime with anybody that's doing presentation. Even our reverend. <laughs> Okay, so, Barry, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm just going to sit right here. Okay, okay, good, good. Yeah, don't be in a hurry to jump up. You saw the people land on the stage yeah. when, I, when I went to the first one? I went for 45 minutes. I went down and after about maybe 5 or 10, I, and it felt like, it felt like something was holding me. Yeah. Like, it felt magnetic, like I was just stuck mm -hmm. to the floor. And I've, I've worked with other energy people, we'll call them. And I know better than to oppose energy. You know, you can move out of the way of it, but you don't want to oppose it. So I accepted it. And at one point, I got up like she did, and Richard's walking around doing his thing. He said, Oh, that looks interesting. He touches my head and then boom, <laughs> right back down. And I'm not kidding you, I lay there for 45 minutes until he finished talking. And I wanted to jump up and grab his microphone. I just wanted to yell. I am not this body. I just felt like I wasn't that body laying there on the floor. It was amazing. It really was. <laughs> All right, better manifestation. So I started to say that at one of the one of the presentations that I went to, and it was a, it was a Matrix Energetics one, and Mark Dunn happened to be the guest presenter at that point. He was no longer teaching with Richard, but he'd invited him to come, and he agreed. So. So uh, he says, I want two volunteers. I want a rich person and a poor person. Mm -hmm. And you can imagine, it took about 20 minutes for somebody to have the balls to walk up to the front of the stage like that. A huge group of people, six, eight hundred people. Finally, these two brave souls get up there and they started talking about, well, you know, if we just take your poorness and turn it into richness, you might just lose everybody you know. Because then we start sending out this vibration of wealth, right? And if all your friends and all your family is like, oh man, gotta go to work tomorrow, and you know, we're working so hard, we're barely getting paid, and, and and you know, that's your circle. When you start sending out this different energy, that circle's gonna change. They're not gonna be attracted to you anymore. And you're gonna have to accept that, or you're gonna block your buildup of wealth. Because that is part of the game. So <laughs> It's, we have to be careful what we ask for, and we have to be ready to accept it. All right. Sorry, you're already lost tomorrow. Yeah, Jared has a, has a really, he just moved here from Ohio. I mean, just moved here. He didn't even have a car. <laughs> All right, what am I attracted to? down, I get the impression of an archetype showing up for you. 
archetypes can be like superheroes, they can be geometric designs. Oh, interesting. And this archetype, I'm getting the Im image of like General Patton on top of a white horse. He's creating a module for you. And the module is like self-intelligent software for a human. And when the module is complete, I feel it going into my hand. When, when he's completed this module, and what he's putting in there are things for to help you create this manifestation that you're talking about. We don't even need to know the details. He puts all this in the module, you're already shifting. And this module is to go in your heart. I feel it's ready now. I'm going to install and activate. And this will run 24 by 7 until you no longer need it. Yeah, go all the way. Just lay there. Don't be in a hurry to get up. I don't want to bite the dust. <laughs> so, you know, I don't see anybody playing, but, you know, I can't force that, so I just suggested. I'm watching you. You don't have to right now. We only have five more minutes, and we're, we're staying by the clock, so. Would you like to, yeah. would you like to play? Okay. We need time for the evaluations. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I'll stay late. Yes. yes. This is what, how is it used in a practical sense? So it's a case of clearing. Yes. Oh my God! So, so I could just go on for the whole rest of the night well, tomorrow how about you, too. A second. But I'll tell you, uh, I'll tell you what happened to me when I came home from the first seminar. Mm -hmm. There was a message on my answering machine. The seminars go Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It's a long class. So I get home Monday night, and there's a message on my answering machine, and and I hadn't stayed at home. I'd 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 stayed away. So this message had been there for a few days, and it was my, the caretaker for my now late mother-in-law. And, and the message was, yeah, your, your mother-in-law's in the hospital. She's been in there since Saturday with an intestinal blockage. And it's not clearing, and they're talking about doing surgery on her. She was 93 years old. She'd been bedridden for years, just hating life, and, and but too stubborn to let go. So, I get this message and it's like 9 30, 10 o'clock at night. It's like, oh man, I'll just pop by there on the way to work tomorrow. She was at O'Connor Hospital. And then I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna be able to sleep. I'm just gonna go see her. So I go down there and I've just been to the seminar. I really don't know this stuff very well. But I'm gonna go there and try this. So she's laying in the she's in ICU and she's barely coherent. She knew I was there. I connect to her and and Jesus shows up and the Virgin Mary. And I'm thinking, oh my God, she's going to transition right now. I'm thinking, yeah, it's a blessing. You know? <laughs> However, she didn't. And the whole thing took like three minutes, barely longer than, than what you've seen here. And I knew it was done, and I walked away. The next morning, the caretaker calls and says, oh, Mary passed the blockage herself, and she's been released from the hospital. And I'm just like, oh, come on. <laughs> no way. But but honestly, I could tell you story after story like this that the magic is there. So that, I call that a pretty practical usage. <laughs> you can fix mechanical things. You can alter time. Relations. You're running late. Yeah, you can you can transform anything. So I said you'd all be transformed coming to this. Can you do it on yourself or is it always? Absolutely. Fun? Yeah. Yeah. Use it all the time. But um, another time I was running late, I knew I couldn't make it to point B on time, but I needed to be on time. Mm -hmm. So I'm in my car and it's like, oh crap, okay, let's, let's test this again. So I touched the clock in my car and something else and I dropped down and I was like, oh please, you know, let's, let's say I left 10 minutes ago. And, and I felt a shift and so I let it go and so the next three lights are red. And I'm thinking, okay, that worked real great. <laughs> but I got to the venue one minute early. And I was like, wow. <laughs> so I shared it with somebody there. They did it. And they knew they were going to be like 45 minutes late to some place. And they used the same technique and they were on time. It's a little tough when you pass out when you're driving. Though. You don't mm -hmm. pass out there. Mm -hmm. oh.
<laughs> and you don't necessarily, that has nothing to do with what we're doing. As we're demonstrating, it's, it's verifying to you to see somebody do that, but they don't have to do that. And, and you want to keep your eyes open when you do this. We have a tendency to close our eyes, to check in, you know. And so I kind of train myself not to look out my eyes. My eyes are open and I'm, I'm observing the person, but I'm not really watching them. And I'm observing them because I'm looking for a shift. Like you started to shift when, when I connected. And he right away started to shift. As soon as I touched him, he started to be moving. And I was trying to hold him a little bit, so was, I wanted to finish the, the module thing so he'd understand. Okay, so what are what we doing? What about the person that's receiving? Should we have our eyes closed? Not necessarily. Yeah, most, you know most people don't. When you're doing it remotely like you did on the phone last week, how do you know when you're shifting? You feel the shift. Okay. If they don't tell you, and sometimes it's you. Sometimes a person never flinches. You do instead. But you need to learn to be attentive to watch them. So what do we put on your clipboard? Fatigue. Fatigue. Okay. And I would imagine less fatigue. Obviously. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. How about more energy? Okay. Yeah. All right. I thought he said, what did I want to release? Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, Dean, you ready? I'm attracted to the lower dantian and the kidney. I'm dropping down. Just done already. I'm going through my dashboard to see what lights up for me. And I see a parallel self. And that self is standing right in front of you. And it doesn't have any of the complaints the self that's right in front of me has experienced. And that self integrates with you when you're ready. And you take on the energy pattern of that self and let go of your old one that has given you challenges. I drop down lower.